I'm Jed Ashforth, I'm Gameplay Manager for Motorstorm DLC. When gamers download uh, the first update pack, uh, the VIP pack, they're going to get Chaotic Revenge track, they're going to get the Chaotic Revenge Festival, which is nine new races with an unlockable vehicle as a reward at the end of it. That's an exclusive unlockable vehicle that's only available in that pack. And a new game mode, which is Eliminator mode, which is a standard Eliminator mode, quite a classic, but now with an added Motorstorm twist. This is a new mini festival that the organisers are holding one weekend. They've rejigged the track um, and so they're celebrating it with a new mini festival. Everybody's coming out, trying out the new track, racers are seeing what they think about it. So we've themed everything around this idea of it's a new weekend out in the desert. Um, all the races from Motorstorm are there, plus a few new ones, and they're going to try this new track out and really tear it up out there. When gamers download the Kerto Revenge VIP Pass, they're going to get to six vehicles included in that. We've got a new ATV for download, that's the Wombat Mud Slide. That's a militaristic looking ATV, can take a lot of damage. We've also got a new bike on there, which is the Wakashi Razor. That's a pretty cool looking uh, bike. Kind of looks a bit like a bike on an 80s American TV show, but for legal reasons we've had to change it quite a bit. We've got a new mud plugger available for download, that's the Atlas Var Jack. Kind of looks like the sort of thing that a group of crack commandos might drive about in in 1972. If you can find them and you can download them, you can race this vehicle. Finally, we've got a new big rig design available for gamers to download. That's the Atlas Arizona. Uh, it's based on an American school bus. Uh, we've mad maxified it a little bit, so it's got barbed wire and spikes all over it, which means you're going to have a good time online causing lots of damage with that. You get two racers at the easiest tier, two races at the next tier, and so on all the way up to tier five for the motor storm at the end, that's race nine. It's a quite a different unlock structure because we've got a new unlockable vehicle. So in order to progress past the first ticket, you need to get all bronze on the first races. That's quite easy to do. In order to unlock the next ticket after that, you need to get all silver. And in order to unlock the final vehicle at the end of it, the unique unlockable vehicle, you need to get gold on all the tracks. It's a tall order, but those people who do it will have the prestige online of being able to drive about in a vehicle that nobody else has got. A Coyote Revenge track is a reverse version of Coyote Rage, but with Motorstorm it's not as simple as just driving around the track in the other direction. Uh, because we've got six different vehicles and multiple routes, multiple surfaces, balancing a track in reverse is as big a job as it is balancing it going the normal way around. Just turning the track around and getting vehicles to drive around the other way, you find that People don't finish at the same time, different vehicle classes come in, different times apart, so we have to rebalance it by restructuring the track. Uh, we've built new sections on, we've got new sub routes that shoot off at different angles, all come back, we've got new ramps in there, uh, new corners, whole new sections. It's quite recognisable as Couchy Rage, but played in reverse, it's a completely new gameplay experience, there's all new sections, all new stuff in there for players to find and enjoy.